Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with the Asimov. Today, I'm going to be talking about the, um... I'm going to be talking about the, uh, the Leopard Revolution. And I'm going to go over the stats and then I'm going to show a bit of gameplay. And then I'm going to, you know, give you, give you guys, um, uh, you know, my conclusion of if you should get this or if you should not. Uh, so we're going to go with the Sustain Fire first. Uh, does 510 average damage, which is a bit on the low side. 800mm pen, which compares quite favorably to tier 10s. <coughs> um, it has 5420dpm, which it's, it's not impressive, but... Um, once you get this reload down, uh, you know, uh, the base reload is like 5.87 seconds, I think. Once you get the reload down, then it becomes a monster. Uh, defense, this thing is built like a brick wall. It really is from the front. Um, if we actually go into the armor fuel, on my calculator... Now we're using, we're using the 800mm pen round. 800mm. You literally can't pen anywhere. It says you can pen here, but do not be fooled. This is not a weak spot. This is 100% not a weak spot. Um, up here, this is also not a weak spot. Uh, it may be like really, really small, but it really is not a weak spot. The only weak spot is the low plate. This thing is absolutely it's a monster really um <clears throat> you can s sort of angle you can kind of see if i get rid of the external modules you can kind of see the overall shape of it it's very slim it's slimmer than um you know the traditional leopard 2 but yeah this thing it's it, it it's very well armored um very well armored what i would say is if you're fighting somebody else if they shoot here they can pen there and that will actually damage so what you want to do is you always want to you know face your enemy always want to face your enemy if they do get like to here they could pen here um it is a small chance but they could but they may want to like aim here. So if you're fighting a leopard revolution. And you get to about here. Shoot here. Or try and flank him a bit more. And then shoot like you know like here. Like like this area. Um, but if you can't. Then well you, you, you're screwed either way. Really. You, you're just utterly screwed. Um, <clears throat> I mean fire and heat at this thing. I don't know what you guys are doing. Uh, but this thing will basically just absorb everything. Um, now, it's a bit weird with ATGMs. Because the only ATGM I have known to, uh, to pen this thing is if I... I'm a calculator. If I bring it up, it's... Seven. I think it's the weasel. I think it's called the weasel. Yeah, there you go. Weasel. Um, I don't know where he exactly hit me. Um, that's a thousand millimeters of pen. That's nine hundred millimeters. I don't know where he hit me, but I think it was my upper plate. Um, he was able to fully pen me. In the upper plate. Um, I was at an angle like that. But still. Like you know. There's no way he should have been able to pen me. Um, anyway. That is the armour. It is built like an absolute brick house. Uh, the mobility. Uh, 75 claws an hour. Set five kilometers hour forward. The acceleration rate is decent.
Uh, it's decent. It is a bit of a heavy tank. It's 64 tons, uh, you know, compared to the Type 96B, Type 96 Bravo, um, <coughs> which this is 41 and a half tons. So this one is roughly 14 and a half tons heavier. Uh, meaning that, you know, this thing accelerates stupidly quick. This thing, not so much. Um, it does accelerate quicker than the Challenger 1 Falcon. But, the ch but you know, it is still, like, it's, like, basically, what? Seven tons heavier than the Challenger 1 Falcon. But it is a nice looking tank. I do like the look of the tank. Um, the first speed is... Decent, 37 degrees a second. It's not sluggish. Um, you're definitely not going to be pulling off some weird, wacky turns like with the Type Max 6B or, you know, with with whatnot. Um, but yeah, the, 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 it, it is relatively maneuverable in a straight line. But once you have to turn, you do lose speed quite a, quite a bit. Um, the camera in, we won't talk about the camera because it's not important. Uh, gun depression angles, 10 degrees. Um, it's 10 degrees until you meet these little flaps which raise up. I would say about here, that's where your 10 degrees disappears. So, yeah. About like a 270 degree angle, that's when you lose your... Um, It's probably more, probably more like a hundred and ten degrees or so, like at the back, like hundred hundred and ten instead of ninety. Uh, it has a one point six second aim time. It has a zero point zero eight six accuracy when fully aimed. This is when it's fully aimed. Um, they actually changed the word of that like uh two three months ago or something like that. Um, the temperature first is. It's kind of slow, but that's because it is a heavy turret. Um, overall, this thing is good. Um, I would, because you've got enough armor, um, I would just set it up for, for DPM, really. Just set it up for DPM or uh, terrain resistance, because I've noticed driving on, uh, you know, like, um, like, boggy areas, like, damp, grassy areas, you are extremely sluggish. You are very, very sluggish with this thing. Um, you're actually even more sluggish than something like um, like a Merc Mercafa 2D. Everybody knows how sluggish this thing is. Um, so yeah, that, that will tell you something. This thing, on, on hard terrain, it's good. On moderate terrain, it's decent. And then on soft terrain, it is... Well, it doesn't turn. <laughs> it's simple as that. It, you, you, you know, this uh, this thirty seven degrees a second will drop to probably um, to nineteen or eighteen degrees a second. Um, probably a bit higher than that. Probably about twenty one to twenty two degrees a second. It's around that, but this thing turns so slowly uh, when it's in soft terrain. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. It's also very, very nice looking time. I do like the look of it. Um, which is nice. Very nice. Um, anyway, guys, I'm going to hop into a game. Ah, there you go. We just hopped into a game. Why not? <laughs> um, yeah, but basically what you want to do is uh, you want to... Hide your low plate. Um, only show your upper plate and whatnot. Um, if you get caught in the open, you want to kind of you want to kind of angle your tank a bit. Um, you know, make your low plate more resistant. It won't do it much good, but if if you can wiggle your hole side to side, um, and they're like say a long way away, 
they're going to find it hard to hit your lower plate. Um, but if you do have your her low plate hidden, they're going to find it really, really, really hard to lay the smack on you. So, we're going to hop into this game. And it, this, this looks like... Is this... This is hardcore. Okay, this is going to be difficult. Um, but yeah, this is live gameplay. This is live gameplay. All of this you're going to see is played by me right now. You see? This is, this is live gameplay. This is not pre-recorded. This is pure live. So. Wait, hang on a minute. Why are those... Here we go. Yeah, the, the, the turret is not the fastest turret, but because I got the T90, it does turn quicker than T90, so that's good. And this is such a nice looking map. Oh, sorry, mate. Didn't mean to block you off there. So I'm going to push around here. Because um, what you want to be is you want to be more like the roadblock, to be honest. That's what you want to be. You want to be the roadblock. You want to basically stop the enemy from getting to your more likely... There's no way he's going to pet me. See, your damage is going to be low. Oh, crap. Your damage is going to be lower than normal MBTs, but that's going to be fine. <clears throat> Somehow that bounced, okay. You have a pretty good APFSDS round, but you also have a a decent heat round. So if we push this way. I did see, I think it was a light tank or a uh, armor personnel carrier. Or an uh, armored fighting field group over here. I'm going to push this way. Um, I am very far away from the uh, from my team. Um, this is a nice looking map. I've never been on this map before. So, Can I push through? Yeah, but as you've noticed, it is... Am I able to push through as well? Or is there only one way in? Of course, there's only going to be one way in. Well, that's annoying. So we're going to push around. Try and find an opening. No, that doesn't break. Okay, it looks like we're only going to push in one way. Which is frustrating as hell. There's another guy we spotted. <laughs> Drove into that. How the hell do we get in? Oh, that way. Got it. In we go. We're going to push this way. See if we can find anybody. Oops, sorry, mate. I'm not doing well, I'm not. <laughs> right. 
Let's push this way. I'm not really doing that much. But you really, you really want to just charge, really. Okay, let's push through. Ooh. That's a target. You can't pen me. Really? You gotta ram me? Okay. No, I should be able to. Yeah. No, I'm not going to pen him because the ERA. I'm going to pen that easily. Oh, we're stuck. Okay, capture this. Well, I am the worst teammate ever to exist. I'm going to fix my, fix my ADS so Rose it's not going to work properly. <clears throat> you do have uh, some smokes. As you can see, the smoke launches on each side of each turret cheek, which is handy. So let's push through. Oh, I'm spotted. Hello. There's no way you can pen me, mate. <clears throat> okay, interesting. And now I've got a damaged gun, and can you stop it? Jesus, these guys are annoying. Can I run him over? Okay, turns out I can't. God damn it. Ow, ow. We push this way. Push down here. But yeah, don't do what I do. Don't be an idiot. Let's <laughs> push through. That's a car bomb. Oh, that did a huge amount of damage. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Interesting. Mate, what? 
You ain't gonna do anything to me, boy. They got you pinned now. <laughs> Ooh, that's a thunderbolt. Come on, thunderbolt. <laughs> he did. Oh shoot, that's a Mercafer. Are you what? Sometimes I wish. That pens his turret? Oh my god. I've got so many damaged modules on my tank right now, it's insane. <laughs> Let's push through to the uh, last part. So you are relatively maneuverable, but you're not... So what now? I am just not bothered by these guys whatsoever. I want to take what's mine. Shit past. Oh, I'm so screwed. Oh, that of ammo. You're just being annoying now. Just fuck off, mate. God. Who knew soldiers could be annoying? Turn to the warship. Right, let's uh let's get back to the bullshit. So I'm just gonna jump down there because you know why not? Okay. We have to just wait. Is that a repair station? No. Oh, I'm so dead. Yeah. T seventy two B three Lieutenant. Ooh, interesting. Let me pick you apart. Really, you hit me for six hundred. That hurt. So you do have a reasonably fast reload. I mean, it is fast uh, for NBT standards. Uh, but you do have low alpha, as I explained before. Oh, that's a combo! Oh, no! Uh, that really hurt. I need to get to that repair station. Hopefully it can uh, repair all my uh, damaged modules. Uh, mate, I will be with you in a second. Let's 
get to the repair station. Hopefully it's not like a percentage repair. Hopefully it's like a instant repair. Haha. -ha. You what, mate? Oh, it's only Sting, mate. <laughs> yeah, mate, I will give you some help. Ooh, that's a car bomb. Oh, no! Oh, no! Really, that hit the car parts and did absolutely nothing to him. Okay, that's interesting. Come on, reload quicker. <laughs> well, that went well. Well, how you want to play it is you want to be, well, at first, you can be like the Iron Fist, but your team has to push him with you. Um, don't push him to stupid areas, because otherwise you're going to get killed. Um, you can play more of the sniper role. Uh, don't sit super far back, but you want to sit back, you want to sit a little bit far back where... Um, your other MBG is pushing, um, and you can give them a hand. Um, be close enough so if you're from the MBTs get into trouble, you can rush in and you can ram the absolute living crap. And look at this, look at this, look at this. I didn't even do that well, and you know, made half a million credits. Um, yeah, I did the lowest amount of damage. I got the least amount of kills. I got the yeah, I got the least amount of kills, uh, least amount of kill assists, um, and I got the least amount of uh, um, assist damage, um, and I got the least XP, and I still made half a million credits. So yeah, that's a stupid amount. That's a ridiculous amount of credits. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, give a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy this video, Give it a thumbs down. Put in the comment section what do you think of the Leopard Revolution. I think it's a pretty good tank. I do like it. I do enjoy the tank a lot. Um, um, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, peace out. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Um, and share this video. Um, and uh, you know, put in the comment section what video you want to see next. And you know, whatever video you want to see next. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Peace.